Oh man, y'all gonna love me today. Hi guys, welcome to Libre X. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. Welcome to Yes Saturday. It is going to be a double helping today, my friends. Uh, we're gonna be listening to a track off of their debut album, finally, uh, from 1969. We've never, I don't think, listened to anything from this album. Uh, the track is called Survival. And we're also going to be listening to Roundabout from the live orchestra, uh, the same concert we did last week. Um, this is the first track, Survival, is a request from... Dun, 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 dun. Kevin. Thank you, Kevin, for your support. I appreciate you, brother. Uh, the roundabout one, it was someone who sent it in uh, last week. Um, I lost your name. Like, uh, PayPal is not very good at keeping track of things, so I'm sorry that I don't have your name. You can just comment, and I will pin your comment, my friend. Thank you for your support as well. So uh, let's get right into it. We do this every Saturday around 10 a.m. Call, you know, yes, Saturday. Pretty simple. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, come hang out. We have fun at the premieres. We have a good time. Let's do it. A double shot of yes. First up is Survival off of the yes uh, self-titled album. <laughs> I don't know. They're self-titled. Their debut. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Definitely Bill back there. Tony K on the organ, right? Here banks on guitar. Sunshine is creeping in, and somewhere in a field a lie begins. An egg too proud to rape, the beginning of the shape of things to come. Wow, his voice sounds so different. Harmony is still there. Crawling bird 
Tony K has been killing it too, man. Oh, wow. That was awesome. What an awesome way to end it. Here we go. Roundabout Live Symphonic. I'm a man of the people. I love y'all. I got some exciting news today. I can't uh, really divulge it just yet, but y'all will be very happy. Awesome, what the hell? So sweet.
Oh, fucking baseline. Happy Yes Saturday, my friend. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love this. John is loving it. the symphony guys <laughs> did I pick the wrong one I hope I did this looks like the same concert I hope it is <laughs> Dude, Alan is such a good fucking drummer, bro. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. I guess that was the orchestra up there dancing with them. That makes more sense. Hell yeah, that's made me so happy, man. Both those songs are so damn great. What a perfect contrast. Their very first album, and then, what's that, 31, 32 years later, they're up there with the symphony, just having the time of their lives, you know, with this huge crowd loving them. They're famous around the world, you know. It's crazy just what time can do, man. Um, I guess we will talk about that first track first, um, which was John Anderson, Peter Banks, Chris Squire, Tony Kay, and Bill Bruford. Uh, fucking... That was awesome, man. Uh, I've not listened to anything from this album, I think. Uh, we've listened to a lot of Yes, so I could be wrong. Uh, I think this is an untouched album for us so far, and that was a great taste to it. It really was. Uh, Bill, of course, is fantastic, as always. I could tell it was him with him for like the first 10 seconds. Just He's got this way about him and his kind of just jazzy feel and just the way that he just... His composition and how he handles himself like in the beginning of songs and how he introduces his work to it like you can tell it's him just it's always got this little snazz to it I don't know how to describe it like I, I don't know it's it's in my brain but it won't probably articulate well 
Uh, he was great in that song. Uh, it, he definitely always has that classic kind of jazzy feel in all of his work. Uh, even throughout all the Yes stuff, it's always kind of sounded a little jazzy. Once you get future, to, you know, down the road, then it gets real jazzy. But uh, I didn't really, like, I didn't recognize John's vocals in that in that track. Um, like I kind of did, but maybe that was just like his young voice, and I'm used to his older voice, or I don't know what. Uh, not that it sounded bad. I thought it sounded great. Uh, I mean, I didn't like it as much as, like, his future work would be, but, I mean, it's the first album, you know, you can't expect the world from people, uh, but I really enjoyed his take on that. Uh, the harmonies were, of course, there as well with Chris. Uh, Chris has been a staple the entire time, and I love the way that they play off of each other, even on their very first album, man, and every album since that I've heard them on, they've been fantastic together. Um, when it comes down to it, honestly, they're probably, their harmonies are either number one or number two, like my favorite thing about the band, other than if Bill's in the band or if Bill's not in the band. Which I do love Alan as a drummer, but Bill's my favorite drummer now, so I can't really help that. <laughs> um, there also, also I think the, uh, another MVP of that song was Tony K. Obviously, he's got a way different sound than Rick. Uh, and uh, who's the other guy? Um, oh, the guy in Relayer. Oh, Patrick, uh, Patrick Mraz, that's who it was, right? Yeah. Uh, he's definitely got a different sound, but Tony's organ in this was definitely a very 60s sound almost. Uh, and there's definitely parts of this that sounded straight up Beatles like as well at the same time. Uh, but I really enjoyed his uh, organ work. It was very, like I said, 60s sounding and it played really well off of Chris's bass and Bill's drums. Uh, I think it really all sounded great. It just was very cohesive. It all sounded and it flowed very well. Um, there was something about it that like, I don't know, maybe I'm just so used to their future work that I might have to listen to it another time or two. Like it wasn't my favorite track, obviously, but I, um, I really enjoyed it for what it was and I'm down to listen to more to kind of dive more into that album. And, um, thank you very much for that pick. Um, get your name right. Of course, that was Kevin. Sorry. So many names. Uh, and then the second one, of course, was Roundabout Live Symphonic. Uh, and I, that was just a, a treasure. Uh, just seeing them up there so happy, seeing the symphony people up there dancing and having a great time. Uh, what a show, man. Uh, I'm, really, I'm very, very glad that I listened to the one last week. Then it led me to this one this week because it's just so special to see them up there just radiating like that. And I know it wasn't like, um, I think Rick was missing from that one. So like they, I feel like they're never at their full lineup or it's a different lineup or this person. You know, it's been just tons of changes in this band's history and it was kind of hard to keep up with and it still kind of is, but I've gotten better at it. Uh, but the guy who filled in, Tom Brislin, he did a very uh, remarkable job, I think, uh, filling in for those big shoes. Um, I think that the band is just so well seasoned at that point that they are just they're a cohesive they're a cohesive juggernaut at that point. Uh, they could play anything at any time, and they're down you know further down their career line right there, and just enjoying the fruits of their labor. And I, they they deserve it. And that's one hell of a show. Um, the the energy that John radiates uh, is just pure light, man. Even at the end of the show, he's just thank you, thank you, thank you. And whatever the quote is that, you know, he's trying to save the planet from a different planet, that is totally true, bro. That is exactly who he is. <laughs> uh, God bless him. Uh, he's a good dude. They're all good dudes, man. I wish I could have met him. Uh, I know that the, this, it sucks what time is like, man, because like, I feel like I was born in the wrong time. Because um, I connect with this music and I connect with y'all and this time period, I feel like, or, you know, the... The past, you know, the 60s and 70s, I connect with it so much more than the culture I grew up in. Because I didn't even know what I was missing, you know, until recently. And I just, like, look back and we reached our zenith already. We really did. We've just been de declining, I feel like, since the 70s. And then and music and culture, all kinds of stuff, man. Like, once the commercialization took over, like, everything really went downhill. Like, once you suck the soul out of art and out of culture and just make it about money, you kind of just kill the joys of life. You just make it a a job you just make it money you know i just i don't know like i'm not a person who asks for much i just want to be taken care of you know sort of thing um i don't need a gigantic mansion and 15 cars to feel happy about myself i've been through enough crap in my life to know that material stuff it's just a band-aid it actually doesn't really fix anything uh it may make you feel like it for a minute but deep down you know the truth you always do and um I felt that I've always felt like recently, you know, in the past couple of years since I got clean, you know, the self-improvement, the actual do it, taking an inventory, being grateful for things and just being happy with what you have. And if anything else comes, be just grateful for that. And it's a blessing, you know, and uh, 
Like I got some news today that hopefully if everything goes through, it could be some big stuff for the channel, guys. It really could be. So keep your ears open for that. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm very excited. And thank you for attending another Yes Saturday. Both tracks were fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed this double shot of Yes on this uh, wonderful Saturday morning. Uh, thank you for watching. If you guys didn't know, we have a Patreon right here. That's the link for it. There's a uh, That's a picture. <laughs> There's a link of it in the description. Go click it if you want. Uh, come join the party. We're almost at 300 people. I think we're only a couple away. Uh, if you join the $10 tier up, you get one free request a month, just like Kevin did here with Survival. Um, or you can set it in through PayPal, um, through like the other person did, uh, for Roundabout. So this is like a mix of them right there. Uh, if you join any of the tiers, you get access to our Discord, you get access to all of our uh, bonus content. We've got hours and hours of like Beatles videos, uh, full album reactions to them, uh, King Crimson, all kinds of stuff. We've got a lot of stuff over there, and it's fun, man. We've got a great community. And if that's such a thing, there's a PayPal link in the description for tips, requests, and everything else. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you all next Saturday. Stay safe. Be kind. Rewind.